Welcome, ladies Dark Souls clone. I'm kidding, we're playing Salts and Sanctuary, which is a Dark Souls clone, so maybe I wasn't j joking. Um, while you guys were gone, um, I did some upgrading. I upgraded our Assassin's Cowl all the way to plus six. All of our gear is actually plus six. I also got us a new shield. This is the Mirror Shield. Uh, it's a class two. Um, does everything? It does everything except for strike defense and poison defense, and weight a little bit better than the buckler. So this one's about the same weight. Um, it's seven to five. I had to put in one point of. Um, I had to put in one point of endurance. To get that done i also did some leveling up um i think i went class two shields uh one point in strength one point in willpower um two points in willpower and i think that was all of the upgrading that i did while you guys were gone you may notice that there is now a watermark in the corner um i did some test recording while i was uh while I was doing uh, this and just checking to see how big the watermark was, how big of a deal it was. I felt like it wasn't that big of a deal. Let me know. Um, in exchange, we're getting to be able to record in 1080p compared to the 720 that we have been recording in. Um, so maybe not for every game, but for some games, I feel like it might be worth it to have that watermark. Um, if you want to help me lose the watermark and get 1080p, you can either donate to the channel. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cultic Razor. Friend ahead, jump. What? Okay. Let's take the antidote. Let's also heal ourselves. This does not seem Oh dear. Ah we died. Oh no. And we've lost sixty four salt. I know that's just so much salt. Oh no. 64. What are we ever going to do? We'll do that later. Um, what we're going to do is I've decided to, instead of do um, all of these at once um, for secret drop down. Treasure drop down, trust. <laughs> uh, okay, that was funny. I'll admit it, that was funny. When we said drop down, we assumed you were a little bit closer to the end. Press ear. Ooh, that means we can go up another class level. Meyerheart charm. Okay. Well, if it's saying there's a friend over here. If it's saying that there's a friend over here, we're going to want that. Who are you? You're in my waters. Hi there. You like a drinky? You like to check a, out a tavern where things get fishy? 
I'm fond of you. Are you fond of me? Sure. Hmm. I like you. I'll let you see my things for sale. Okay. Oh, he's a forest fang. Interesting. Has some interesting armor, it looks like, too. Jute tunic. Hmm. Let's talk to him again. Name's Alde Griggs. This swamp is mine, I think. You like Alde Griggs' place? You like his shop? I paint faces. You ever drink pest mud out of a boot? Hmm. Hmm. Be seeing you. No secrets. Pass that. I did have a reason for wanting to do that. Um, namely, the biggest reason for it was um, if you're not... If you don't talk to people before the boss... What can sometimes happen is they won't be there at all. Ah, duck on it. Not what I wanted to do. Trapsy, trapsy. <laughs> oh, is that not a? And to jump on, there we go. Hey, if you guys want to go flying, I will help you get there. Okay. Up. Oh. I'm hearing a bunch of really nasty noises. up here. Frozen doll. So I have these unfortunate skeletons. Don't know what they're trying to do. Come on. Fine. Don't want to play? We just won't play. Oh, what's over here? Oh boy, that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. Um, let's go explore that room. Stone leader. Okay. Come on. Maybe something we have to drop down from. Uh, 
There we go. Stone guide. Let's just see what we can find every way we go. Corsair set. Okay. here oh these are those saltless guys that we found earlier huh what are you guys doing here Fuck. <laughs> we died pretty darn badly but that's okay we can come back and kill them anyways after all what are they gonna do about it other than just scream in fear when we wind up obliterating them. Such a nice sound it will be. Huh. These guys just don't know when to quit. Leprous ear. Yep. Hmm. It's this way. Oh, is this just a... Quiet, you shrieking canaries. There we go. The Shrieking Canaries are done for. Yeah, we're going to have to go the other way. Okay. We can do that. I'm liking this game so far. It's not perfect, but I am enjoying it. Um, in fact, I really only have three complaints about it, and two of them are just nitpicks. Um, first one is the music when it's there. There just isn't enough of it, if that makes any sense. Um, because I think almost all of the music in the game can be summed up with boss fight music. That little guitar riff that will probably be coming on any moment now. That constantly comes on. Constantly plays. And, uh... And other than that, the uh, the sanctuary music. And those are the only three types of music in the game. That's my first nitpick. Um, my first big gripe is, yeah, this. Okay, sorry. Two guitar riffs. One's electric guitar, and then there's this regular guitar one. I had forgotten about this one. Come on. Come on, at least. Come on. 
And, I mean, seriously, those are my only real complaints. Um, other than the flying enemies can go through walls thing. That's no fun. That's no fun at all. And that's really... That I feel like is pretty much guaranteed to be a bug at this point. Um... I mean, eh. the the art style is a little bit bleak for my taste, but eh, it's not bad enough to be really frustrate. Eh, it's not bad enough to be frustrating and impeding. Eh, it's not bad enough to be frustrating and impeding sight. So I'm not all that worried about it from that perspective. Um, so, I mean, if those are my only complaints, this is a pretty good game. Um, it does need a map, though. It just, it needs a map. Um, it takes too much from Metroidvania-style games to not need a map. Um... Because there are some areas that... Uh, I get that it's trying to be a little bit more Dark Souls in this respect. But Dark Souls was a 3D game. And it had... The way Dark Souls was laid out, unless you were playing in a place like the gutter, you pretty much couldn't get... Um, it was pretty much you just couldn't get lost to me. Um, I mean, for me, I just could not get lost in the gutter. Let's see if we can't go a little bit further than that. Um, but yeah, unless you were in the gutter, it was really hard for me to get lost in Dark Souls. No, that's just me. Um, somebody else might say legitimately, there are a couple areas that were really kind of confusing to play in. And somebody will inevitably come down in comments and go... No way you didn't get lost in this area, and I'll have to go, oh, yeah, I do remember that. I do remember getting lost there. But Salt and Sanctuary, it sort of does get taken to the next level because you can't see the whole map, and it makes it a lot easier to get lost than it should be. This is the guitar riff that I was talking about earlier. This is the one that... I mean, it's good when it's here. The problem just is, it's not here very often. Come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. this way. We don't want to head that way. Ah, and I died. Okay, we'll have to go there later. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more in the way of healing items, um, which I think we are actually going to go and upgrade our covenant real quick. Uh, we'll go to yeah, 
I will go to Red Hall of Cages real quick and do that. Um, but the level design is excellent. The uh, everything makes sense. Um, the story is uh, the story isn't great, but it doesn't really pretend to be great. It's like. Oh yeah, save the princess five minutes later. Eh, maybe the princess doesn't matter that much, you know? Um, you know, technically you may need to get the princess, but we're not really pretending that that's the big part that we need for the story to progress. So, hey, eh, you know what? If you don't want to save the princess, you don't have to. It's just sort of the way this game's shaping up to be like it's there is literally at this point almost no reason to worry about the princess the game just there the game has just placed itself as the princess doesn't really matter that much compared to what this is. Dark Souls had a better story, in my opinion, but its story was sort of intentionally hidden because story wasn't the main point of the game. The main point of Dark Souls was gameplay. And so that's what Salt and Sanctuary's main point is. And should be. Um, and so they do put the emphasis on gameplay. Um, Um, in some ways, this game is even better than Dark Souls because you have this system where rather than having to do your leveling up just sort of off the cuff, just straight up be unaware of what's going on in terms of what you need later, you're able to instead come back and save the um, save the points that you would have to put into something until you're sure what you want to put it in. That's amazing. Um, there are a lot of games that could use some, some sort of system like that. Uh, hey, you want that? Come back later. Uh, come back later when you know what you want rather than do that right now. shouldn't have used that antidote. Okay. Where is it? It's right up there. Okay. So we go up this way this time. There we go. Booyah! We got up there. Now, how do we get up there? Decisions, decisions. 
What is the trigger for this? Huh. What was the trigger for that, I wonder? Uh. Ah! The alchemist set! We can be an alchemist. Just as we've always wanted to be. No, oh, doggone it, we lost 28,798 salt, oh, we were so close. Fall off one ledge and all of your salt goes away. It doesn't matter anymore, Jason, you're dead. My name is not Jason, by the way. Do I sound like a Jason? Just... I've been watching a lot of uh, Studio C lately, and one of the first things that comes into my mind is their uh, Jason Bourne. Doggone it. And we just lost 28,000 salt forever. <laughs> uh, is one of their... Uh, Dobby meets Jason Bourne things, and the, uh, I've, I've never read or watched, uh, well, I've, uh, I take that back, I've seen one Harry Potter movie, um, the, and that was the, that's my only experience with Harry Potter, and, uh, but I have enough friends and one incredible professor at National Park who were just huge fans of it. No, no, you die. Okay. Heal. Okay. Quick question, do we fight he who farts a lot? Or do we go the way we were and keep exploring? Hmm. I think we fight he who fights uh, he who farts a lot. And whether we win or lose, we're going to call this an episode there. Um, cuz I have forgotten the timer and I think it's about time. Oh. Poison bolts. Interesting. Is this really your only attack that you're gonna give me? You are a pushover. I mean, like, a legitimate... Honest pushover. Seriously? Seriously? There's some other boss here. Hello. Hi. It's me. Chicken Dragon. Yeah. Me. Seriously? That was it. Okay. Um. Bosses are not... Eh. I mean... I cr eh. Okay. I figured it out. We're playing with an almost late game character at this point. Um, I had forgotten about that. We're playing what amounts to a late game character. The, uh... 
Hello? What's your name? Hey, stranger. You're like me, aren't you? You hunt monsters for their salt too, don't you? Yes, I do. That's what I thought. My hunt led me to this mire. Through that cave is a blocked passage. I recognize the barrier, though. It's called Redshift. There's a brand that allows its owner to cut through Redshift with torchlight. It is a secret gu uh, guarded closely by its blood brows. But these are extenuating circumstances. Would you like the brand? Yes. Very good. Your hand, then. We got another brand! Sweet. Okay. See with the eyes of a hunter. My people created Redshift Barrier centuries ago to contain beasts. We were hunters of nightmares, beastly thralls, possessed animals, demonic spirits. We sometimes captured our quarry to be held in prisons of Redshift. This island is full of Redshift Barriers, but I didn't place them. I don't know how to build Redshift. I don't think anyone does anymore. That secret died generations ago. This island draws people from so many places. And times? A fellow bloodbrow must have been here from centuries ago. Hunt fiercely, friend. Okay. Um, this probably leads to that... Yeah, this leads to that place beyond the mire. Um, that fort beyond the mire. Okay. So we're just going to go and continue exploring here, though. Um... Yeah, I realized what it was, because the we are a level 70 character in what's probably a level 50 area. We have late game equipment by my reckoning. Um, I'm not going to say that's it, that it's entirely late game equipment, but where all of our gear is at plus six. All of our gear is at plus six. So, I mean, it's entirely possible that this is a late game set that I'm using. And we just died. Well, at least this time we leveled up before we died. And so, I mean, we're using a pretty late-game set in what I would reckon to be probably mid-game. I'm... This is like Dark Souls. I'm not a very good player of it. And so... Um, and this is my first playthrough, but it doesn't seem like we're getting anywhere near the end yet. There we go. Goodbye, shrieking woman. Vile Vines Ring. Okay. There we go. Come on, come on. Up, up and out. Up and out. There we go. Let's see if we can't get up there. Oof. Ouch. Come on. There we go. There we go. Red shard. And that's all we have there. Okay, well, I'm going to call it quits here, guys. So, um, in the meantime, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, we got through an area this episode. Um, we'll come back later and explore a little bit more n here next time. Um, in the meantime, uh, please hit like and subscribe on your way out. That sort of thing really helps me out, lets me know how I'm doing. Give me a comment, too. Um, comment, comment, comment. I love constructive criticism give it to me. If you guys think I'm doing good, let me know. If you think I'm doing terrible, let me know. Um, what would you do separately in my place? Um, there are reasons for a lot of the stuff that I do, but if you know better or can 
uh, or can give me advice on it, by all means, give it a go. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys here. In the meantime, live long and prosper. May the force be with you. May the eyes be ever in your favor. May the drinks be ever in your flavor. May Batman never need to visit your ass at midnight. Same thing with Chuck Norris. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe out there, and goodbye. <laughs>